Hello and welcome to this Lit Film Fest editing tutorial for Adobe Premiere Rush. We're going to start today by looking at how to download Adobe Rush and then go on to login and some of the basics of editing. So without further ado, let's look at downloading and installing Premiere Rush. You can see I've already done it here. All I did was I went into the App Store uh, and I'm going to go into the search function and search for Adobe. So we can see all of Adobe's products and we're going to scroll down until we find Adobe Rush. So it shouldn't be too far down. There we go, here it is. And so you'll just have a, a download and install button there. Uh, you can see I've already got one uh, that says open. Uh, so uh, when you download Adobe Rush for the first time, uh, you get three free exports. Uh, so you really can get a feel for how it works. So let's go ahead and open Adobe Premiere Rush for the first time. So welcome to Premiere Rush. This is uh, your login screen. If you don't have an Adobe account already, then you can sign in with Facebook and, or Google, or you can sign up here. So I'm just going to sign in. So here we are ready to start our first Adobe Rush project. So the first thing you want to do is to just put in a name for your project. So I'm just going to call it My First Rush. It's just a test. And then this is uh, where all your media will go ready to create your project. So there's some sample media that Adobe has uh, prepared if you want to play with that. Uh, but I'm going to go to my camera roll and pull out some of the images and videos that I can use. So all I need to do is tap on each one that I want to pull into my project. And it's going to pull them in in the order that I tap them in. So I'm, I'm going to do it in reverse order because these are the ones I want to use first. Uh, so I'm going to pull in these. Just going to pull them all in. So I've got plenty to play with. Then I'm going to come down here in the corner, press create. And it's going to pull all these into my timeline. So Rush has pulled all my footage that I selected into the sequence. If, if there's any more footage that I want to add, um, I can simply click on the blue button up here and I can choose the kind of things that I want to add into that sequence as well. So video, images, audio. The next thing you want to be aware of is this project button, which when you tap on shows all of the media that is within that project. And also uh, note the home button in here, which will take you back to the main menu if you want to start a new project. So if we tap the cross so we can see our sequence here, our timeline, uh, you can control the timeline um, by pinching. You can see how large it is. You can just scroll through. You can see what's going on there. And you can use the playback controls here underneath the video uh, so you can just play it back and see what's going on there. And then you can skip forward frame by frame or you can skip to the end of that clip. And also it's worth noting that you can change the orientation of the video, whether you're doing uh, footage that's been shot on a phone or if you want to make something for a social media account, uh, for example, you can change it. And it will automatically resize the video so it fits into that orientation. So let's move on to some basic editing. All the editing tools are located down here on the bottom left of the uh, workspace. And you're going to be dragging the uh, playhead here uh, to the position at which you want some of these actions to take place. So for example, if you would like to split a clip, you've got the scissors here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's zoom in, find a clip we want to split. So for example, this one, you just press the scissors and it will split that into two. If you ever make a mistake, you've got your undo at the top here. But we're going to undo that. And let's try that again. Chop and undo. And you can also redo. So that's useful. So let's try splitting that clip. And then we're going to look at how we can hold down and drag clips to different places in the timeline. So if we wanted to pull this clip to the other side of this one, um, and then obviously we can play it back like so. And so that's the way that you'll reorganize uh, clips on your timeline. If you think, oh, well, I would like this to be later, I'm going to move it across, and then that'll pull across. 
Next useful tool to be aware of is the duplicate tool. So that's here underneath the scissors. So if I wanted to uh, duplicate one of these clips, I could select it and press the duplicate and it will pop it in right next to that one on the timeline. Moving down, we've got the bin icon, obviously going to be tapping on things and popping them in the bin, very simple. And moving down, we've got the expand audio button just here. And so that reveals the audio that's against each clip, which allows you to then control the audio separately from this clip. And so if you're adjusting the length of a clip, you're holding down on the end and you're dragging, but you can do that separately with the audio, like so. The next thing to mention is that Adobe supports different tracks within the timeline. And so using this button here, you can reveal those tracks. So you can see up here, there's extra tracks which you can drag your video onto. You can use that above uh, the, other, the other clips in the track. And then we've got space down here for audio tracks as well. Um, and so there's uh, many ways in which you can use that to expand on your editing so that it can be pulled up into other tracks above there and obviously we can change that clip length so you can see that there's clips going on on different tracks in the timeline let's look at recording some audio onto that timeline so if we can pull over here and here we're going to press the microphone button and press it once again to start recording give you a countdown Welcome to my book review. Stop there and then you can see there you've got your audio that's been pulled in. So that's some of the basics of getting started with Adobe Rush. I hope that's been helpful. If you want to find out some more advanced features, uh, then watch the next video. Uh, so we've got things like titles, transitions, uh, speed of clips, uh, different effects that you can put on um, both uh, on the video and on the sound. So watch the next video if you want some more advanced techniques. Hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. We'll see you soon.